Hola amigos, I wanted to talk to you today about the little side hustle which I've taken on, which will hopefully bring in a bit of extra cash and just why I felt the need to do so. So keep watching if you'd like to find out. Hi, um, I was wanting to fill you guys in today about a little bit of a life stroke writing update, I have decided to set up a Fiverr account. I'm going to put the link down in the description box below if you think that I could be of use to you or if you know anybody who needs the services that I offer. I'm going to be offering a variety of different services based on various skills which I've picked up over the years and um, I think I am genuinely good at. The first of these is proofreading. Now I only proofread short pieces of work. I don't do huge novels. I just find that too taxing. I can do it, but um, it's not something that I enjoy doing. What I do enjoy doing is proofreading things like um, I will proofread a synopsis for you or a CV or a letter that you're sending to your publishers. I'll even do a first chapter, just not a whole book. So I'm going to be offering that. The second thing that I'm offering is possibly my favourite and it's um, beta reading. So um, that is where I read through a whole manuscript for you and basically give my opinion. It's not in depth like um, editing or copy editing or, you know, it's definitely not proofreading. It's more me as a reader and as a writer going through and giving an overall feel of what I think about the story and the characters and the writing style. Now, this is something that I've done for a few years now for the Romantic Novelists Association. I'm a reader for their new writer scheme. So every year um, manuscripts are sent to me and I read through them and then I write a report for the author giving points that they could work on, things that I like, um, anything that I think which will make the manuscript more marketable all stuff like that. It's a good, um, normally about three pages long, um, the report that I do, and that's what I'm planning to do for the beta reading. The final thing that I'm going to be offering is developmental edit. So that's much more in depth going into the actual storyline, peaks and troughs, the characters, the writing style, and really kind of, um, yeah, going right through the manuscript, picking it apart and letting you know anything. I mean, anything that I particularly liked, but also things that were problematic, anything that needs to be worked on. And I will actually give suggestions of how things can be changed. This won't be um, kind of spelling and grammar like the proofreading will be. That's uh, you need someone else to do that. Anyway, yeah. So at the moment, that's what I'm going to be offering. Um, there may be other things in the future, but that's what I'm going to be starting with. So the next thing I wanted to cover is why I've decided to do this. So I think at the moment, um, with everything that's going on in the world, everyone is struggling a bit. No one's got as much money coming in. We've been particularly struggling because um, I did have a publisher for one of my books. I left them. The other ones were self-published, which, you know, was fine. It was ticking along. But then um, I got a new publisher for four of my self-published books and for a new book. So because they were going to be publishing my books, I had to take the ones that were already self-published off of Amazon and any other marketplaces. Uh, I think it was about two months, I think, was the latest I could do it before they were going to be publishing my books. Now, four of those books are now available, which is really, really great. But if you didn't know, in the publishing industry, it's not like a regular job where you kind of get paid at the end of the month or something like that. What normally happens is you get paid quarterly. Some publishers I've actually discovered only pay every six months, which would be a complete nightmare. So my books started coming out um, in October. So they would probably be, I would need to check this, but I'm fairly sure they are in the kind of um, September to the beginning of December 
um, no, it might be October to December actually. Basically, they're at the beginning of a three month window. I will not get paid anything for the sales and the reads of those books until the end of the next window. So I think that's going to be March before I actually receive any money. So um, some of them will have been out for, well, most of them actually will have been out for about five months before I actually receive any money. Now that isn't unusual at all. That's completely standard in publishing. And it kind of has to be because it's really complicated um, to work out, especially if your books are being sold over kind of multiple channels, if they're in um, different languages, if there are audio books, all that kind of thing. So you have to have finished the quarter completely and then the accountants have to have time to work everything out to make sure that all the figures are completely correct for everything, that you're getting your correct percentage share. And then obviously the money needs to be transferred over to you. But it does mean that that is an awfully long time where I do not have much writing income at all. The only income that I have is from the two novellas and the children's picture book, which um, I have available on Amazon. So that's definitely not going to cut it. So I was trying to think of something that I could do to supplement things that I would actually enjoy. And I do really enjoy the things that I've chosen to do on Fiverr. Proofreading, I think I've been doing for nearly a decade now. Um, I've proofread various things, including like a PhD thesis, but generally I do, um, there's local magazines that I proofread for every month. So yeah, I thought that's something I really love. I really, really love the um, beta reading that I do for the Romantic Novelist Association as well. And developmental edits are just something that I think are fantastic. And I often find myself kind of analysing books that I'm reading anyway. And I love to read. So I figured that that would all, that it would be something that would interest me and I could do from home as well because I have a lot of commitments at home. So fingers crossed that it goes well. Um, if you do have a chance to check out my, um, my Fiverr profile, if you have five minutes, please do let me know if you can think of any way that I can improve um, how I've kind of presented myself on there, anything that I could add, or if you think there are any other services that I might be able to add, that would be really great because obviously I'm completely new to this. I am looking at kind of what other people are offering and things and, um, you know, trying to work with that. But yeah, any advice, very gratefully received. Um, the other thing, though, that I wanted to show you before I go today is that I have had another parcel from my publishers. And these are my author copies for um, the book, The One That Got Away. Isn't it beautiful? It's so summery. It makes me feel warmer already, which is impressive because it's going to be minus seven here tonight in Wales and I'm blooming freezing. Um, so this used to be called His Secret Daughter, um, but now my publishers have changed the name to the one that got away and I just think it looks absolutely brilliant. Um, it's just so lovely to have them all out and all um, on my shelves. It's really, really great. This is one of my favourites of the books that I've written. It was actually the one that has um, sold the most. It did very well when it first came out. So I'm hoping for some good things again now. It's about um, a woman who um, she has an affair with her boss and then um, she thinks that he's not interested anymore, but she discovers that she's pregnant and she doesn't think that he wants anything to do with her, definitely wouldn't want a baby. So she leaves her work and has the baby. And then a couple of years later, she bumps into her old boss again, and he works out that he is a father and all manner of things ensue. It is great fun. It takes place in both London and Spain and um, some of it's in Barcelona and some of it is in the Catalonia countryside so yeah it is really really good fun great escapism and it's really exciting to have it available again 
Anyway, I am going to have to go now because we are off to go and get our Christmas tree. We go to get it from the same place every year. It's a place called Pempont Estate. They have a Christmas tree farm and they have a beautiful black Labrador called Hendrix who likes to lead you to the Christmas trees and help you to choose the one that you go and you chop it down yourself and it is absolutely great fun. So we're going to get all bundled up and we're going to go and do that. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already and make sure that you boop that like button because it really does make a difference to my channel and I will catch you in the next one.